It's the most horrible time of the year. And by that I mean best. Please excuse me, I've just about lost my voice. So I'm going to be sipping on this, which is Bailey's. It's the closest thing I have to whiskey and it does actually help a wee bit, so. Today I've got several items from one of my favorite fashion websites on the internet, which is Devil Night. .co.uk. I've done many videos about them. I love them. I've never had any problems with them. I love Devil Knight because they have so much variety and they also have a wide selection of sizes, which makes a big difference. <laughs> Probably can't see because it's black on black. I have a few garments. I thought it would be fun to assemble a bunch of outfits all around a vintage vampire theme. My original idea was to go kind of 20s vamp, so vampire. Vampire? Get it? Oh, I'm so clever. So I've assembled several different looks that might give you some inspiration for your spooky season. Everything actually fits me and I think everything that I got from Devil Knight looks so good. Oh. The first one is pretty simple but it's so oof. Like really, oh, those are perfectly adequate adjectives, are they not? This is the first one. This is a velvet dress with these beautiful appliques on the shoulders is I think one of my new favorite dresses. It's just so saucy and vampy. I'd never put on anything with it. I feel like it would be a great opportunity to show off a nice pair of tights or pantyhose uh, which I have not done. I'm just wearing plain ones. Oh, a beautiful pair of high heels or some saucy boots. Oh, I thought this dress was so vamp, so effortlessly glamorous. It's tight, but it's not unflattering. It wraps around and ties up. Got a long belt on either side and a hole on both sides so you can wrap it up. Either way, I'm going to wear this forever. So vamp, so glamorous, so easy. Please excuse, I know I shouldn't apologize, but uh, this one is behind me and he's just woken up, so. Got a couple of kind of classic vampire looks in my opinion. Well, if you want to talk real classic vampires, then we're talking about risen, bloated corpses and rags, and that's not very sexy. The saucy vampires of literature in Hollywood. Good news, everyone. Capes are in. There really is no better or more appropriate time of year if you want to wear a cape or a cloak, because no one will really question it, will they? You know, if you want to ease yourself into a cape or cloak wearing lifestyle, <laughs> This is so pretty. I don't know, would you call this a cape or a cloak? Either way, I didn't want to take away from the beauty of it, so I've worn something underneath very simple. Just a tight lace top, a plain maxi skirt, and a belt. It's got the most cute bat wing shaped collar that's tipped with these beads that ties up around the neck. It's got slits for your arms to go through. Uh, it'll be a bit better if I remove the label, but <laughs> I'll do that. Probably the most beautiful aspect of this garment is the back this bit that goes over the shoulders. Look at it, look at this huge applique. It's so pretty. The material on this is quite magical because you look at it and there's no pattern on it, but then you look at it again and there is. It's like, how does that work? Again, so vamp, so vampire. You didn't know until now that you needed a cape, did you? Yeah, well, Baba. Obviously these things aren't cheap. You know, they're not mental expensive either, but they are good. This next item posed a bit of a challenge for me because I don't tend to wear short skirts, but I just thought this one was adorable. It is, look at it. And I thought it quite fit with my vintage theme. So it's got ruffles on the butt. It's got like tiered ruffles tucked up at the front. It's a lovely shape. The ruffles are a bit confusing because the top one is elasticated but it fits really nicely. The waistband is this beautiful wide lace. That's one feature I really liked on it. So I wore it with this mesh top that's got a bit of like flocking pattern on it. A cropped jacket and a velvet pillbox hat. And just a wee velvet choker around the neck. And it's an unusual sort of skirt actually. Like it's got these mesh shorts on the inside and I think that's a nice feature because you don't have to be afraid of bending over. A little bit vintage, a little bit spooky. These looks don't have to be just for Halloween, you know. You can be a vintage vampire all year round. Fucking why not? Next I'll show you what I'm wearing at the moment. It was really hard to pick a favorite look. I mean, this might be my favorite look. This is another kind of classic vampire look, I thought. This is a waistcoat or a vest. Waistcoat 
vest. I used to wear a little waistcoat like all the time. I have no idea what became of it. This one fits spot on perfectly. It's so pretty. This would look beautiful with a billowy blouse under it but I've just worn a plain mesh top because I didn't want my upper half to look too busy and I didn't want to distract from the, the awesomeness of this waistcoat. It's super cool because it's got this kind of triple lapel. If you see it's got like three layers of lapel with this beautiful trim. The material it's made of has got this kind of 3D pattern on it that reminds me of a forest. Lovely big buttons. I thought it looked amazing with the skirt that you can also find at Devil Night actually. It looks looks really nice with a big statement necklace or in this cravat. <laughs> this one's smart, spooky and spidery with a wee crucifix on it, very drac. One ought to have cravats. One should have a collection <laughs> of cravats for different occasions. A penultimate item because I always leave what I think is the best to last in these sorts of videos. Next thing is this mesh robe. This is instantly one of my favourite garments. I love it looks so nice. I love floaty meshy stuff and this has got bats on it. This is honestly an everyday outfit in my opinion, uh, especially if you are in the southern hemisphere as I am where the weather is getting warmer. Everyone on the internet's like autumn stuff and we're just like it's spring now. If you live somewhere hot like California or whatever, this is a light and floaty but still vintage inspired vamp inspired outfit and um, so I've just worn it with a plain black slip dress with this over the top and that is all it needs. Swooshy, fringed, cool, back patterned mesh, light and airy, look great with a wide brimmed hat, a single necklace to complement the shape of the neckline and done. Everyday fine weather spooky glamour. The last thing I want to show you, my last outfit, doesn't need anything with it. This dress stands alone. It is unfortunately slightly too big, ever so slightly too big, bugger, but I'll just see if I can exchange it for a smaller size. More than vintage, this is kind of Georgian inspired. So we're going back into the past a bit. It's got a very much a Georgian sort of shape to it. It's got a square neckline, it's got, oh, just look at it. <laughs> It's so huge, it would look incredible with a big hoop petticoat, big floofy petticoat underneath. It would be amazing with a large fancy hat with many feathers or a big Georgian inspired updo. It's got these beautiful bead details. Oh, it's just it. Oh, 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 All it needs is one beautiful necklace or just a bit of ribbon around the neck for an authentic look. Maybe a pair of elbow length gloves and that would look nice. Definitely perfect for Halloween. Any kind of ball, masquerade ball, I don't know, going to a club, a party, music festivals. One could wear this to get married in. It's that beautiful, in my opinion. You'd be the belle of the Halloween ball. I hate the word stunning, but it's Stunning. Thank you so much for joining me and I apologize for my voice. Ah! I've linked Devil Night below if you want to go have a wee look and just be floored because seriously like you could you want you just you want to cry. They just have so much that's so beautiful and you're like <laughs> grab your hands. For links directly to all the things that I've shown you I've got a blog post on my website it's blackfriday.com. I've linked that below just to make navigation a wee bit easier. Thank you so so much Devil Knight. I love you so much. I hope you liked what I did with these garments. What would you wear them with? Any suggestions? What would you wear with a cape? Do let us know A. Which was your favourite look? Would you wear any of them out this Halloween or just in general in life? And what are your plans for Halloween? My favourite look is this waistcoat one with the cravat but I think my favourite garment has to be this velvet wrap dress. Like, like I said, I'm just going to wear this thing to death. It's so pretty. Oh, it's so me. <laughs> what was your favourite look, Bubs? Hmm? What one did you like best? I feel like these looks don't look like a costume. They look authentic. Like, I feel like if you turned up to a party in any one of these looks, especially maybe like the pillbox one with the skirt, or the cape, I don't know, you really are gonna look like you died a hundred years ago and have just rocked up to a party. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe my maybe my brain is falling away with my voice. Thank you for joining me here in my thoroughly under-decorated bedroom. We're getting there. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, then please do so, that would be so cool. As always, take care of yourself, be nice to each other, stay spooky, and I'll see you next time. Bye.